Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily play a sound effect on a trigger. Don't forget, click on subscribe button and click that bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload about video game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So it's real simple to create a sound effect on Trigger and you can do it for many, many different things, i.e. you're wandering through somewhere and you want a sound effect to suddenly play and you're through somewhere else on a different sound effect to play. Well, you can actually use one script to do it multiple times. So firstly, just make sure that we have the sound effects that you want to play on your character controller or camera or whatever is within the scene. So I'm just going to create an empty game object and attach these three different sounds. I'm just going to call this sound one, duplicate it, and then add this one, rename that to sound two, and then finally the last one, sound three. So these are three different sound bites that I have taken from uh, the tutorials that I do on my channel. So we're going to have these three objects, uh, or rather these three sounds, in an object that will play when we walk into that trigger. So let's set up a trigger. Game object, 3D object, cube. And let's have this cube uh, let's have the first one here. I'm going to leave the mesh renderer on for now, uh, but obviously at the end of this we will take it off. And what I'll do is I will say trigger one. So let's create the script which will allow us to play uh, this trigger. So right click, create C sharp script. Let's call this trigger SFX, obviously short for sound effects. So open that up in Visual Studio. And we'll get rid of void start and void update. We don't need them. We do need one variable. So public, uh, in fact, not game object. We want audio source, don't we? Audio source. Uh, we'll just call this play sound semicolon. Now void on trigger enter. Doesn't need to be private. We can get rid of that. So when we enter the trigger, we're going to say play sound open close bracket dot play open close no we don't need the open close bracket there <laughs> we need it at the end obviously and save so what we're saying is when we enter you can just play it now you can add a tag to this uh, obviously this is a very very simple scene so there's no need for tags here uh, i do have video on how to add tags they are very very simple anyway uh, but yeah in its simplest form this is perfect this will work no problem so in order to get this trigger working, we just need to tick is trigger right there, drag and drop the script onto that trigger, and then add the sound effect down here. So the first one is sound one. And now let's press play. So I'm going to get our first. Oh. So the reason that's happened is because I have accidentally left on play on awake right there. So now let's try that again. So if we walk towards this cube, which is our trigger, as soon as we enter it, we will have the ding. So we can use that, duplicate it, and let's move it here, and let's have sound two on there. And then once again, duplicate, and let's have sound three onto there. So if we press play again now, we should be able to do the first sound, second sound, and third. There's one. There's two and three. So finally, because these are triggers, we obviously don't want them seen in the scene like this. So we can just turn off the mesh renderer. And finally, let's press play. And there's our true triggers set up, ready. There we go. Perfect. You can trigger one after the other. Awesome. And that is how you set up a trigger to play a sound effect in your scene. Guys, I hope that's helped and I hope that's quite useful for you. Something like that is kind of useful for maybe a survival horror game where you're walking down a corridor and all of a sudden you hear a crash and a bang. Guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.